So hi guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Now in this video we are going to discuss about what are the best pathology books you can use. Now I have made videos of this kind earlier also and uh, on my website Bukeshi all the stuff which I say on my YouTube channel is there. So all the books and their reviews are there on my website Bukeshi.com. You can check uh, the description for the link okay. But uh, not today because why I am making these videos again is because I need to discuss something with you. Earlier I used to focus about the books that covers the syllabus. But now I have uh, changed my strategies like uh, in my real life. So that's why I'm sharing them with you. So now uh, what I am sh uh, focusing on is on uh, getting an extra edge. Okay. So because that was the reason why we got we all got selected in our medical colleges, right? Because we always studied uh, something extra than what uh, other students were studying. So this is the same thing you, we should do in uh, our colleges also, right? Uh, that uh, will provide us the uh, adrenaline and then we can study it. Okay. So we need the adrenaline. So the books will be same, but uh, studying them will be with a different strategy. Okay. So I'm going to tell you all the books. So the first book which everybody uses is Robbins. Okay. Now most of the students all over the world rules uses a Robbins. That is the best book for pathology. There are other books, but uh, Robbins is one of my favorites. Now there are many different uh, types of Robbins you can find. Okay. The first is the book uh, which you can find uh, the Robbins Cotton and pathologic basis of the disease that you can find in two sets like there is book one and book two and then there is another robin's basic patho pathology that is a little bit shorter version but uh, if you're a medical student then go for the pathologic basis of disease right uh, the the book which you get in two parts okay by that not the single one okay the single one is also good uh, many uh, students uses the single book uh, i know many of my friends in different colleges they use that single book but you know if we need an extra information if we need to get the extra edge and if we need the adrenaline then you need more information you need to talk about the diseases which are um, only just mentioned there and um, something really extra like uh, like black fans anemia and these things so these are rare diagnoses but if you learn about them then they will help you a lot and they will help you understand the concepts more okay you may never see them in your real life but they will help you understand the uh, concepts of pathology there is a third book of robbins okay and that is the mcq book uh, book that is the review okay now uh, i when i actually read robbins then you know reading it from uh, first word to the last page from page from uh, word to word is really difficult and uh, and you won't remember anything okay if you read uh, like that so what i used in my time that uh, um, i got the book of the mcq and now the best part about robbins mcq is that they are all written in uh, in, in a very good order so uh, so uh, uh, you will see those questions in the same order their uh, chapters are written okay like even in a single chapter uh, the way the questions are arranged that is the same way how the different topics are arranged okay so you can re read the topics and then you can do the mcqs okay so it will be very easy for you okay it's not that difficult like for one topic there will be one or maybe two questions then for the next topic there will be one or two questions okay so you can go line by line okay so that will also help you and especially if you are seeing some topic and if you are going to the clinical posting then definitely see those patients and then uh, get to home uh, get home and open your robins and see the pathology of the disease which you see okay now the other book uh, which i really liked and th uh, that is uh, uh, that is pathoma okay so we uh, many of us know about pathoma they are they're like the best lectures available for pathology in the world and there are other uh, lectures also and uh, many new uh, creators have come and they have uh, given the content really uh, good but pathoma is still great and uh, everything is explained really beautifully and uh, all this um, and you can watch the videos you can get them and you can make your own notes and you will remember everything which is given there uh, till your medicine okay now the next book this is actually the alternative to pathoma this is also a notes kind of book but the amount of information is more than what is given in pathoma and that is the rapid pathology by golian okay so that's a really really interesting book uh, i have read few topics from that and you know if if there are some concepts which you are really uh, bad at then you should refer uh, this book because you know the way everything is explained in that book is one of the best way anyone can explain okay all the stuff all the the way how diagrams and how the notes are everything is written so all the stuff uh, all the important material is covered as well as uh, the explanation is really good so if you feel that robbins is very difficult it is getting a lot a uh, lot of information is there then you can use uh, golian okay in us a lot of students use golian as their textbook rather than just a reference book okay so or just some notes they use it as a textbook that is the level of that book it's a really good book then if you don't want to go to the international authors uh, you can uh, use the books of uh, 
you can use the books of uh, your college or your country like in india we have a book by dr harsh mohan then we have a, a book by dr prashant patel so they are really good books and they are uh, they are they, everything is written in notes form and the language is really simple for especially for an indian student so you can uh, use the book that you are comfortable with okay now other than that there are hematology books now uh, on my website you can find all these different books of uh, hematology also now along with this for pathology on my website bukeshi.com a lot of uh, youtube videos are there okay so what i have done that i have classified all the that i have uh, made different pages for different chapters of pathology and all the relevant youtube videos from international authors as well as from uh, authors from spe specific countries but all in the in the language english uh, i have uh, shared the videos from youtube on my website okay i've just shared it so if a creator is watching my video then all the uh, videos which are there on youtube i'm not uh, earning anything from them so all the advertisement those come on those videos uh, the uh, the money goes to the creator and not me okay creator as well as youtube if he is monetized or not okay i think now i can close this video i hope uh, you really enjoyed this video and it was helpful for you so choose your pathology book wisely because you are going to refer to that book not just for the second year or whatever year you are in but uh, for the rest of your life right thank you take care and we'll meet in the next video